the Wood Metal Workshop. I'm Kent. Colton's behind the camera today. Hey guys. Uh, we are starting a new project here. We kind of getting into the forging area. I'm going to be building a uh, forge and we got an anvil and of course as you know we have hammers. Um, but uh, Colton and my other son uh, and I kind of like want to get make maybe make a few knives and axe something like that and along with that we do so much metal work in here we really need a belt grinder. Now I don't know if you've gone out and searched for belt grinders but good belt grinders are uber expensive. Now if you search YouTube and Instructables and many of the other sites there's a lot of homemade 2x72 belt grinders out there and the main thing you need is a motor and along with the motor you need the drive wheels well drive wheels you can get off eBay fairly inexpensively motors they're kind of expensive um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to use a treadmill motor for driving shop built equipment. Um, they're a DC motor so you need the control board and uh, we've got a treadmill here that my wife picked up for free a few years ago. It's got a motor and it's got a control panel. What else do you need? So we're going to toss this up on the bench, tear it apart, and uh, get the parts we need out of here. Alright guys, just thought we'd bring you back really quick. Um, did a little bit of uh, wiring here. Plugged everything back in just to make sure that it worked. A little bit of a delay, but that could be from old wiring. But the speed pot works. You can control the speed. I'm going to try a little experiment here. You're against the table. Yes, I know. I was trying to stall. Boy, I guess that thing moving quick. I put quite a bit of pressure on there against the wheel against the table and I wasn't able to stall it, so. And that wasn't at full speed. So it does not give me a max RPM on there, but uh, we've got everything here that we need to build our uh, belt grinder. Plus an emergency kill switch. Well, this will get, of course, the switch, this kill switch will get taken apart or disconnected and a uh, regular off and on switch will be on it. I'm going to keep the, the speed pot for up and uh, for adjusting the speed because that's uh, a feature that I kind of like on some tools. Um, other than that, the only th we're gonna keep the speed pot and put a regular switch on it. And then we got uh, <coughs> circuit breaker, 12 amp circuit circuit breaker here. Of course, the control board and the transformer. Can't run it without a transformer. So there we go, guys. When we bring you back. For sure, next time when we bring you back, we'll be building a 2x72 belt grinder. Catch you in the next video. All right, guys, we've got it up on the bench. If you go back a video 2 or 10, somewhere back there, there's a video we did on reclaiming parts and, and my thoughts on that. And having a treadmill is great, and I may not be ready to build this belt grinder 
um, at the point we're taking it apart, but we're going to break it down into components. Components are easy to store. This thing, not so much. It's been actually been under a tarp outside for quite a while because, uh, well, nobody used it. So, get going here. If I can find the proper screwdriver. All right, guys, it's all stripped down. Uh, this will go out to the scrap pile where we'll uh, store it until uh, run to the scrap yard. Uh, this actually may stay around a little bit longer because it's got a lot of good, long, usable pieces in it. So uh, it won't go with the small stuff that we usually haul away. Uh, there's a few other pieces that go out there. Um, and as usual, we're down to just a few small pieces that can be stored inside, in a drawer, in a cabinet, on a shelf without taking up much room. So next time you see us, we'll be back to go to the